This video is a continuation of the previous video on doing advanced filtering in Excel. And uh, we are working on the data tab here in the sort and filter group and we're using the advanced filter option right here. Um, in the previous example uh, we created a rule that said select the business accounting or HRM majors and that's what uh, the rule looked like. And this is something you could easily do with an auto filter so that's not really a big deal. Uh, in this example, what we're going to do is we're going to look at uh, some things that you could not do with the auto filter feature. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear uh, the filter. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to delete HRM as one of the possible majors. And um, actually, let's delete accounting here too. And let's say that what I want is I want the uh, senior business majors. Well, the rule for that is credits is greater than or equal to 90, so we just put greater than or equal to 90 here in the credits column. And if two rules are on the same row, it's as if they were connected by the word and. So what I'm asking for is people whose major is business and who have enough credits to be a senior. So I'm not going to get all the business majors, I'm not going to get all the seniors, I'm just going to get the people who are both business majors and seniors. So let's apply Oops, I always like to be down in the data before I start to apply the advanced filter. And if you do that, it selects the data for you correctly. And then let's select our criteria range, which uh, goes from here over to here. And click on our red button again and click on OK. And it looks like we have two business majors who are seniors. So this is true for this guy and this is true and this is true for this person and this is also true for this person so I'm getting all of the business uh, seniors okay um, now uh, let's say that what I also want uh, let's clear the filter and let's say what I also want is I want uh, the accounting majors who are sophomores okay well a sophomore is someone who has at least 30 credits so greater than or equal to 30 uh, and then the rest of the rule is uh, less than 60. Now, if I put that in there, Excel doesn't like it. It doesn't like the word and. It doesn't like having multiple conditions in the same uh, cell here. So what I have to do is, if I want two rules related to credits, then I have to basically set up another column labeled credits and put the rest of the rule over there. So let's go back to our home tab here and um, let's actually I don't need to do that I can just uh, copy right click and do a copy and then right click and do a paste so now we get credits at the top of two columns so the rest of my rule here for the accounting students is I want the sophomores so a sophomore is greater than or equal to 30 and the other part we said was less than 60 okay so now I've got um, five rules up here but these two are basically combined into one rule and these three down here are combined into another so what I'm asking for is if I have a business major with 90 credits or more select that uh, student and if I have an accounting major with uh, at least 30 credits but fewer than 60 credits select that student so it's as if there was an and uh, separating the major from this rule and another and uh, connecting all three of those rules together so let's give that a try. We should get the senior business majors and the accounting majors who are sophomores. So let's go back to our data tab here again. Click on advanced. And it correctly selected the data because I started out with the cursor in the data. And then I've got to specify the criteria range. And the criteria range has to start at least here on the left side and go all the way over here. And click on OK and if we look at what we get what we have is um, two business majors who are seniors and it appears that there was only one accounting major who was in that sophomore range now let's try another example and make this a little bit more interesting yet uh, let's select all of the um, business majors who are either sophomores or seniors and all of the accounting majors who are sophomores or seniors. And before we get started here, let's clear our rule. And let's put in a rule for uh, business, this is business majors who are seniors, and let's put in another rule down here for business majors who are sophomores. 
and I already know what the rule is for sophomores so I'm just gonna right click on that and copy it and then we go down here and I'm going to um, paste it in and then I want a rule for accounting students so I'm gonna copy that and I'm going to paste that in and the accounting students I want to be seniors so let's copy that and let's uh, paste that in so now we've got four uh, compound rules here. This one says if the student is a business major with 90 or more credits that would be a senior then select the student. This one says if it's a business major with uh, at least 30 credits but fewer than 60 or a sophomore uh, select the student. Uh, this says if it's an accounting major that's a sophomore select the student and this says if it's an accounting major that's a senior select the student. So I've got four rules uh, and if any one of those rules is true, then the record will be selected when I apply an advanced filter. So it selects my data correctly, then I want to go and define the criteria range, and the criteria range is coming up a little short right now, so we got to make sure we include uh, those two lines we added. And click on OK. And now I'm going to sort my data here, so it's a little bit easier to work through. My accounting student should either be seniors, which this person is, or a sophomore. My business major should either be seniors, which this one is and this one is, or they should be sophomores, uh, which the other ones are. This one and this one and this one and this one. They're all uh, at least 30, but less than 60. Uh, this is something that would have been impossible to do with uh, Excel's auto filter feature want to show you one more thing before we quit the video here we're going to clear this and we're going to go back and we're going to apply another advanced filter and for the criteria range this time you know let's say that I get carried away here and I accidentally get an extra row in there with nothing in it so what happens click on OK and look down here at the bottom it says 43 of 43 records were found in other words it didn't do any filtering at all if you have a blank line in your criteria range like I do here then this is what happens Excel says check to see if it's a senior business major if it's not check to see if it's a sophomore accounting major if it's not check to see if it's a um, sophomore business major and if it's not check to see if it's a senior accounting major and if that's not then apply this rule down here well if you don't have anything in here that it's just another way of saying match every single record. So um, we're not doing any filtering at all if you ever include a blank line here as part of your criteria range. So be careful when you when you drag that mouse down, let go of the mouse. Don't get down there too far. Make sure there's at least uh, one rule on every single line that you select as part of your criteria range. And that's how you do uh, advanced filtering in Excel.